LearnPad's simple dashboard interface gives the teacher complete control over devices in the classroom. In this video, we'll run through these controls and how to use them. To access the dashboard, you'll need to log on to the Class Connect portal. The best browsers to use are Chrome or a recent version of Internet Explorer. Go to connect.learnpad.com and enter your login details, then click the Login button. This will take you to the main portal page. Look for the Dashboard tab along the top. Clicking this will take you to the Dashboard view. Here you'll be able to see all the LearnPads in your organisation. Along the bottom of the Dashboard are the buttons you'll need. Your screen may not look exactly the same as this. Class View at the left is a premium feature and we'll talk through those functions in a moment. Let's begin with the Control buttons. Before you start using them, don't forget to select the learn pads you'd like to control by clicking them or by choosing a place or a group if you have this feature set up. If you have a lot of learn pads in your organisation and only want to control a few, you can also click on filter selection so all the unselected devices are hidden. The first control button scans for local learn pads on the network. You probably won't have to use this one often. The pause button alongside this is really useful. It suspends the selected devices and switches off their screens. When you press the play button alongside, the selected learn pads will wake up again. Pupils can also wake them up themselves though by pressing the power button. So if you really want to remove all distractions, try pausing them with a pin. Click the little down arrow next to the pause icon and select suspend with pin. You can use this feature properly and tell the children the pin you've entered, but the simplest way to use it is just to randomly tap away on the keyboard. Don't worry, you will have no idea what the pin is, but by pressing the play button, the learn pads will all wake up again, and even your most technologically minded pupil won't be able to crack the code. The next two buttons will mute and unmute all the selected devices. This little bell makes an alert sound on the selected learn pads. This can be quite useful for gaining pupils' attention or perhaps as a signal that tidy up time will be in five minutes. This smiling speech bubble allows you to send a message directly to the learn pads. When this is sent, it will appear in the notification bar along the top of the learn pad screen. Don't forget that you can send messages even when the learn pads are in another part of the school. So even when you have a group working in a different room with a teaching assistant, you can communicate with them directly. This heart button asks all of the devices to check in with the server and is often quite useful. If a message or command doesn't seem to be getting through, try clicking the heart. The padlock allows you to lock all the learn pads into student mode. We recommend that the devices be locked when they're being used in the classroom so that people stay focused on the activities you choose and can't meddle with the device settings. You can also unlock the tablets from the dashboard. On the right is the lesson control. This is a great way to send specific lesson profiles to certain devices without scanning a QR key on each individual learn pad. Click the drop down arrow to show a list of all the lessons that have been made by users in your organisation. You will also be able to see lessons you've selected. You can do this easily by finding a relevant lesson profile in the content tab and clicking the star to add it to your favourites list. Once you've chosen the lesson, click on the up arrow to send it to the selected learn pads. OK, that's all the standard control features covered. Let's move back over to the left of the screen to look at the premium class view features. Most of these buttons are for focusing in on a single device, so we'll have a look at the video camera button first. Clicking this will show you what's happening on each learn pad in real time. Again, a great way to check all pupils are on task, even when they're in a different room. Up here in the top right of the screen are the size buttons, which you can use to zoom in on the devices you're interested in. OK, let's move back to the first class view button, the little camera icon. This takes a screenshot of the LearnPad screen, but you need to make sure you've selected just one device first. When you click the camera button, 
a screenshot will appear in a new tab. To save it, just right click on the image and click Save Image As or Save Picture As. You can then save the image anywhere on your computer as you usually would. Let's go back to the dashboard. Another button that focuses in on a single device is this presentation screen. Clicking on this icon brings up the selected devices screen nice and large. This is brilliant for modelling activities on the LearnPad for the children to see or for sharing good examples of work. Finally, if we go back to the dashboard, you can use the folder button to view the files on a selected device, which can come in handy for locating work to save or print, particularly with younger pupils who may not be able to hand work into the class cloud just yet. OK, so that's a quick overview of all the controls available on the dashboard. If you have any further questions or queries, ring our technical support line on 0845 862 3390 or email support at learnpad.com.